Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. All right, Jamie Kellner passed away. 77 years old. He helped launch the Fox and WB networks. He uh, is credited for, I guess, helping create The Simpsons, Married with Children, Cops, In Living Color, 21 Jump Street, Dawson's Creek, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Gilmore Girls, 7th Heaven, and Felicity. Yeah. And he was a guy that was brought in to Turner, became the head of Turner Broadcasting in 2001. And literally his very first his very first move was to cancel wrestling on TBS and TNT. And Eric Bischoff and Fusion, which was his company that he created, were going to buy World Championship Wrestling. They'd already announced the deal was done, even though it wasn't done. And Jamie Kellner canceled the uh, programming. And Eric Bischoff had one week to try to get television, and he could not. And thus they dropped out. And WWE bought everything for $2.5 million, and the rest is history. Now, there have been all sorts of discussions about whether there was a conspiracy here, because the announcement that Eric Bischoff was going to purchase World Championship Wrestling that announcement was in January, okay? And Stuart Snyder of WWE told a number of people there is no way Eric Bischoff is getting that company, even though he'd announced that he had it. And Jamie Kellner didn't even work for Turner when Stuart Snyder said this. He didn't go to work until March. So it's possible that Stewart just thought, there's no way this guy's going to get it. And that's the gist of it. Other people think that he knew something that nobody else knew. And that uh, somehow, you know, he knew that WWE was going to get it in a fire sale for practically nothing. So Jamie Kellner did not like wrestling at all. But he did claim, he did claim, yes, I did not like professional wrestling. But that is not why we canceled the wrestling on TBS and TNT. It was strictly a monetary deal, which, in fact, is what everybody has said. Well, I shouldn't say everybody. That's what the people who know what happened have said for the last 25 years, while everybody else claims, well, it was strictly, you know, everything was going along great, and then this merger happened, and, and we were gone. And WCW was canceled, and Jamie Kellner said it himself. For financial reasons. And the financial reasons were this thing was hemorrhaging money, losing millions and millions and tens of millions of dollars. Where just a few years earlier, they were, you know, they, they grossed $125 million in, I believe, uh, 1997. And they managed to go from, from grossing that to losing $62 million in a single year. And at that point, why are you keeping this thing? It's losing all this money. What's the point? Ted Turner's out of power. You know, it was done. It was finished. And it was sold off in a ridiculously, ridiculous, for a ridiculously cheap price. In fact, I've said it before, and this is, I've actually done the math. If I received the full price of every copy of Death of WCW that was ever sold, I, I pretty much could have bought WCW. That's how, that's how little it was sold for. And on top of that, they sold it for nothing. And they still, after selling it, after Turner sold it, they still had to pay all of these contracts to everybody with guaranteed deals. So it's like they lost, I can't say here on the air, but they lost their butt on this deal. And uh, that was the end of World Championship Wrestling. You know, it's funny, I was thinking about it too. You know, uh, Eric Bischoff, their idea was, well, without TV, I mean, this thing is, I mean, you can't make any money off of it. There's no TV. And that's, you know, that's why they gave up. And you can't really see the future. But when you think about how much money WWE made off that $2.5 million, and then I think it was like another million for the tape library, I mean, 
they've surely made more than 125 million dollars. It was the most at WCW. Like the the first pay per view they did, the Invasion pay per view, which was just you know, well by the time it came around it wasn't. But what it was supposed to be was like WWF versus WCW. But everything got all screwed up, and that story's all in death of WCW. But anyway, the point is, that thing did 800,000 buys. 800,000 buys. And then, when you think about the tape library and how they've monetized that over the years, I mean, quite frankly, you know, if Bischoff would have spent $2.5 million, he would have more than made his $2.5 million back. But he didn't, and that was the end of that. He would have at some point had to buy those contracts out, though. You know, what was his price going to be? What was Fusing going to buy it for? Because he would have needed all those contracts that Time Warner actually, you know, had the ink on, which is why those guys didn't go over to WWE for so long. Some did. Booker T, DDP. There were a handful of guys that did, but plenty of them didn't. And it's going to be really interesting. Jamie Kellner was an enemy and a horrible person to wrestling fans for a long time because they didn't know any better you know he was blamed with pulling the plug on everything when in reality you know he just walked into a position and hey here's this huge losing venture we're about to sell it off anyway all that sort of stuff and yeah i guess he was the one to actually flip off the light before they closed the door and condemned the house but the reality of the situation is as you've seen if you've seen any of these shows everybody is responsible for it and i'm going to be really interested to see in this last one what story is told now i do know that before the series started they made a big deal out of the fact that somebody was backstage and i forget who it was they they documentary style filmed the whole day and we've seen little bumps and clicks of that about what have you heard and you know, the walking up the sting backstage and all that sort of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how much of that plays a part in this final episode as well. Charles Skaggs, better known to wrestling fans as Two Gold Scorpio, has been arrested. According to TMC, a TMZ has been charged with first degree assault, one count of armed criminal action. He is out on bond, due back in court next month. Charges stem from an incident took place in the early hours of June fifteenth at Love's Travel Stop in Kansas City. Scorpio was working as a security guard in the store. Said the victim lit up a cigarette inside. The victim claims he put the cigarette out before entering the store, but it may not have been fully extinguished. I don't want to try this case, but you put the cigarette out and then went into the store with an unlit cigarette and you just want it in your mouth? I don't know. That seems oh, odd. Oh, man. Let me tell you something. Working in liquor stores, we, there was a guy that we used to call Keith Richards who came in, and I think heroin was one of the things that he would be on sometimes. But he came in, and he kind of just had this rough look on his face, and he came in, and he would very slowly outside and roll the cigarette and knock the cherry off because God knows you got to get every last little bit of that when you're in dire straits. And he takes it, and he puts it behind his ear. And right where the the front door was across from the counter, that's where all the 40s and the singles were and all that sort of stuff. And he goes in there, and we're looking at him, and he's real slow, you know, going down trying to get his stuff. And it's like, is his head on fire? And it's just, there it is, and there's smoke actually coming up. And it's like, hey, buddy, as he turns around and he slowly works his way to the counter, and we're all just kind of staring at him. It's like, y- your head's on fire. Oh. I guess some dudes just really need their smokes. They do. All right, well, maybe he did do that then. Well, anyway, Scorpio said to have confronted the man. Argument ensued. Confrontation continued outside the store where Scorpio alleges the man tried to grapple with him. Scorpio told police he pulled out a pocket knife, stabbed the man in self-defense several times. And then hit a 450. Say when they arrived, the man was lying on the ground, bleeding from several areas, abdomen, buttocks, legs, chest, and head. Police were able to speak with him later in the day. Claimed Scorpio. The victim claimed Scorpio, of course, was the aggressor. But details regarding his current situation or condition have not been disclosed. That's old school. Presumably we've got some uh, security camera footage of this, I would hope. At the loves. Why don't we start reading some questions, <laughs> and we'll see if we can spur some answers out of Granny. Shall we try? I don't think so. Let's try. <laughs> then then you'll really find out how dumb I am. Granny, did you know there was a resting bear? Uh, no, and I don't care. 
It's a bear that wrestled people. I still don't care. Okay. What is your favorite breakfast cereal of all time? What's your favorite cereal, Granny? You know what cereal is? I can't eat it. Fruit Islands, S'mores Crunch, Rocky Road, Original Recipe, Cookie Crisp, and of course all the video game inspired cereals like Super Mario and and Donkey Kong, and there was a Nerds cereal, cereal that tasted like candy. There's two bags inside the box, and one was grape and one was cherry. Oh, it was oh. great. Dunkin' Donuts had next to the cereal for a while. These are all gone. These are all gone. What is your least favorite pizza brand? Little Caesars. The answer is Little right. Caesars. There used to be a great, great pizza throughout the Northwest called Pietro's Pizza. Every memory of yours is about something from the deep past that your sad is no longer around. Yeah. Yeah, they could be my favorite food. Just go to Mod Pizza and love it. This sounds good. Is Granny frozen? Granny, you frozen? No, I'm ready to read my report. Your picture is frozen. It is. Yeah. Or you're doing a great job as a ventriloquist. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.